Alright, go time. What's up? What's up? It's your boy, Bram X3. I'm so stoked for this video. I have been lucky enough to to procure, to obtain, to own, not one, not two, but three mystery boxes. These things are hard to find. If they're not in stores, they might be sold online in your area. Probably not. I got three my story just restocked when i went tonight there was probably another 12 of them when i left uh i i'm stoked we're gonna be cracking these every box we're gonna look at every pack every game piece they include aka pokemon dice or a d20 i am so stoked if you got them crack them let's get comfortable this is gonna be a long fun and happy booster opening this is to everyone who's not been able to get one of these. This was to you. Let's go. First box. What I'm hoping to pull um, is the Ancient Red Dragon from this set right here. D&D. Off to a good start. Thank you, RNG. Well, this one's probably D&D. We're just going to rip through them all. We got three March of the Machine packs. We will take those. Thank God we got a D20, dude. Our pro Ooh, this is a sexy D20. From, uh, is that Aftermath? That looks like it might be Aftermath. Oh, I'm stoked. And the promos are... Ooh, ooh okay, okay. I've pulled the, the Sarth before, but I've never pulled the Pegasus. Uh, it is from Capenna, new Capenna. Uh, when it deals damage, uh, two creatures ETB, draw a card. Beautiful. Well, uh, let's see what's my screen. Cool. So we got three March, two collector. I'm happy. We're going to crack all the boxes right here, right now. And then we'll get into some, uh, some openings. Oh, they mixed up. Okay. More March, more March. I'm realizing I should have picked not all the boxes that were stacked together because I assume the boxes that are stacked together have the similar uh, similar packs. No, I guess now that I've done this. More D&D. Thank you. Oh, is this a triple collector? No, it's not. Oh, some of them come with three collectors. Same promos. And the dice. Oh my gosh. This is a sexy Lord of the Rings dice. Thank you. We'll take that. Put that there. Beautiful. Third pack. Third pack. Okay, we're mixing it up. We got Brothers War. And we got more. Uh, God, I opened a shite ton of Brothers War. But more D&D. This is what I want. The dragons are in here. This is really what, I, what I'm hoping to pull. Big from another dice this one's from wilds of eldraine and another two of the same promo we already have oh boy i am stoked look at that so many packs there is an entire half collector boost a uh, collector box right here of D, D. six packs i've never opened this many collector boosters in my life excited is an understatement now i like these have different like printings. This is a darker print on them. Interesting. Um, I like opening stuff together, and I think if we're just gonna go across one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So there we go. First Brothers War. I don't know how these packs go. They're all we got sets, and this is a draft. That's why I don't. These are sets. That's a draft. Here we go. Set Island, Recommission, Urza Rebuff, Veteran Power Blank, Gorgian Warplow, Airlift Chaplain, Haywire Might, Calamity's Wake, Ashnod Harvester. Okay, here we go. Sigil of Valor. Uh, Titania's Command. You can choose two. Power Stone Fracture and a Contamination. A rare from Urza. Uh, during my upkeep, sacrifice a creature or sacrifice a scrub, but a lapis tap for mana and produces black instead of its normal type and amount. That is gross and just gross. All right, I'm happy. Uh, that can just go there and that can go there. 
uh march set this is a march of the machine this is a set booster signed art card there check that out don't care about the 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 art cards unfortunately but if you do then woo Fettle Terror, Alabaster Host Intercessor, Furnace Host Charger, Fearless Scald, Mirror Shield Hoplite, Pyretic Prankster, Invasion of Xerex, uh, Injector Crocodile, Zada Hedron Grinder. I got a good feeling about this pack. Invasion of Alara, not a very good card. Negate foil, cool. Wall of denial. I love that card. I've got more of these than I want to admit. And I'm happy to add another to my collection. Wall of denial, the foil, and the rare. Sheesh. Another another invasion of Alara. How funny. March of the Machine. This is a draft booster now. So the order of our rares and whatnot will be different. Etched Host Doombringer, Volcanic Sprite, Assimilate Essence, Wildwood Escort, Kipkin Billy Rider, Oculus Welt, Kite Sail, Halo Forger, Elspeth Smite, Kenra Spell Spear, Invasion of Zendikar. Pile on, good card, very good card. Fiara, Judge of Valor. When we you cast your second spell each turn, like the top of the cards of your library, put one in your hand and the rest of my graveyard. Interesting. Oh my gosh. Zedra, the Dawnbringer. One white, red, white, red. Companion. Each permanent in your starting deck has an activated ability. Abilities you activate that aren't mana abilities cost two less to activate. This effect can't, uh, can't reduce... The mana to less than one, and then you can tap one and tap it to target creature can't block this turn. That is gorgeous. I'm gonna get a sleeve for that just because it's so beautiful. Let me see, I got my sleeve box right here. Wow, Zedra, Zadar the Dombrick. I knew I had a good feeling about it, man. That is a gorgeous pull. way cool way cool happy to add that to the collection we're back to brothers war another cool full art uh whatchamacallum planes uh centrinol stalwart the size onulet uh disfigure suchi grave guard Baliji vanguard Levitating statue. Thoran, disciple of history. That's a legendary creature. Ornithopter in the alt, the old art frame. That is cool. Perilous Vault. Mythic. Top it, exile this. Exile all non land permanents. Oh my gosh. That's a card. And a Razor Lash Transmigrant. Can't block. Tap four, black, black. Return this. A uh, card from my grave in the battlefield with a one-man counter on it. Cost four lights to activate if an opponent controls four or more non-basics. Interesting ability. Foil disenchant. I will take that in at plus one. Uh, this is interesting. The perilous vault. I'm sure this has a. It got. It just seems bad. It just seems bad. I'm sure there's a, a play for it. It's a very, uh, very aggressive board wipe, is what it is. Foil Swamp, we love those. Overgrown Pest, Final Flourish, Kite Sail, Fertilid's Favor, Norn Inquisitor, Sculpted Perfection, Pyretic Prankster, Invasion of Urgatha, Daxos Blessed by the Sun, I call that a win. Glistening Dawn for the rare, Accubate X twice, where X is the number of lands I control. Foil Koga and Yadaro. This card is growing on me, and I feel like it's happening for a lot of people. Koga and Yadaro. And a promo with the Thopter. Uh, March of the Machine, a draft booster. Cl 
Crystal Acara Pace Picker Drinker. I remember that was that was great in limited. Um, Searing Barb, Fars Dispersal, Attendant of Skywalkers, and Trailblazing Historian. Haste to give another creature haste. Wow, that's good. Golden Scale Aeronaut, Phyrexian Archivist, Mutagen Connoisseur. We like those. Another Norns Inquisitor, Bontanical Brawler. I've got more of those than I want to admit. Invasion of New Capenna. Oh my gosh! We got the Flip Elish Norn. Alt Art. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, whenever a source an opponent controls deals damage to your permanent eye control, they lose two lives unless they pay one. Pay two in a white, sacrifice to other creatures, exile this card, and return it as a sorcery for Borg. Very nice. Uh, as it enters out of Lorca, incubate two five times and transform all incubators. Creatures I control get plus one, plus one again, double strike to end the turn. Three, destroy all other permanents except for artifacts, lands, and Phyrexians. Exile this card, then return it to the battlefield. Flipped. This could very well, that could very well be head of the box. We're going to uh, sleeve that up really quick. Oh my gosh. That is a gorgeous piece of cardboard. Gorgeous piece of cardboard. I'm happy with that. Yargle, Mountain, and another token. Uh, I feel like a million bucks right now, man. This is cool. I love these openings. I, I'm i stoked. I can't get over the Elish Norn. Back to the Brothers War. That's an Ashnod's Apprentice or whatever they're called. Swamp, Rust Goliath, Mishra's Domination, Evolving Wilds, Dredging Claw, but it doesn't have dredge on it, okay. Reconstructed Thopter, Disciples of Gix, Thopter Architect, Su Chi Gave Guard, Sculpting Steel for the rare, it's, a, it's the old art, you can enter the battlefield as a copy of any artifact. That's a W in my book. Oh, we got a lot going on here. Uh, Tanyos, the toy maker. It's a uh, Simic in three for a rare whenever it casts a beast or bird spell. Copy it. Except the copy is an artifact. Very interesting. Hero of the Dunes is the uncommon. And we got a token. Uh, I call that a win. I like that. I like that a lot. Set for March of the Machine. This is the last set booster for March. Oh, oh, he's good. That's a good card. Swiftwater Cliffs, Protocol Knight, Sigil Sentinel, Sword Sword and Cavalier, Surge of Salvation. I love that card. I'm putting it in the rares. Xerxes Strobe Knight, Seraph of New Capenna, Invasion of Zendikar. Kenrith, the Return King, yes, please. In its old alt art. Oh my gosh, what a what a W! Another mythic, Kroxa and Kunros. I think it's not it's a bulk mythic, but when enters or attacks, I exile five. The graveyard when I do return to return my graveyard to the battlefield. Very interesting. Drana and Linvala. I've wanted this card forever. Let's go. Has all uh, activated abilities of creatures my opponent's control cannot be activated. This card has all activated abilities of all creatures my opponent's control. I can spend mana of any color to activate. Furnace Host Charger Foil. Spectral Forest Rare from Time Something. Uh, whenever it attacks, if the Pinning Core controls no black permanents, it doesn't untap during your next unstep step. Seems bad, but cool. I'll take it. Call that a win. Here's our last draft pack. Nizumi Informant. Informant. Red Cap Heel Slasher. Preening Champion. Crystal Carapace. Fugitive Analyst. Attentive Skywarden. 
Sabia Cryptomancer, Scorn Blade Berserker, Stormclaw Rager, Captive Weird, Invasion of Regatha, Crafted Butcher for the Rare, Tetsuko Umizawa Fugitive, Stigiled Sentinel, Tranquil Cove, Token. Okay, those are our, our, our uh, set and draft boosters. Gonna get our cool cards and put them out there for y'all to look at. Boom. And this was also pretty cool, so we'll put that there. I'm happy, man. I'm happy. Now we have one, two, three, six, 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 six D and D packs. Can we pull any of the dragons? Ancient dragons. The red one would be goaded. That would be a game changer. That would just really just be the cherry on top if i can open these we'll crack them we got a treasure token i always need more treasure tokens so i'm gonna actually set this aside up there where you can't really see it but oh well balls invoker zenshin and bandit marshall and pettis jude golem meteor golem wow it's got reprinted as an uncommon planes here we go fire diamond tavern brawler I need that card. We'll take it. Agent of the Shadow of Thieves. Now, I don't know this set a lot. So, I'm going to read them. Commanded creatures have whenever this creature attacks a player. If no opponent has more life than that creature, put a 1-1 counter. It gains Death Touch and Indestructible until end of turn. That is disgusting. Baby Legasa. Night Witch. Sacrifice up to 3 permanents. If there are 3 or more card types among the sacrifice permanents, each opponent loses 3 life and I gain 3 life and draw 3 cards. Doesn't seem half bad. Brain Stealer Dragon. We'll take it. We'll take it. This is not a bad card. Monster Manual. Yes, please. Gale Water Deep Progeny. Whenever I cast an Isolator Sorcery spell from my hand, I can cast up to one other target of the other type from my graveyard. If a spell was cast from my graveyard's turn, it would be exiled. Wow, that is good. That is good. Oh! We pulled Miram! We pulled the Miram! Earthquake Drag, dude! What a freaking pack! Dude, Earthquake Dragon, X less the cost for X is the total mana value of dragons I control. This is not the dragon. I've wanted to build a Miram deck forever. Oh my gosh, dude, one more time. It's not the craziest pack, but holy hot dang. Is it good? Yes, please. I'm just going to stack these up. Yes, please. Oh, I'm stoked. Ladies and gentlemen, they, thems, gals and ghouls. I am excited. Let's open the next one. You guys should see my trash pile. Everyone who makes a YouTube video like this has a load of trash off to the side that you never see. There we go. Another treasure token will take it. Marching Duo Drone. Hack Attack. Manor Gate because gates. Arcade Signet Foil. Yes, please. Draconic Mirrorlists. Foil Forest. Here we go. Marching Duo Drone. I think we just did this. Whenever this attacks, each player makes a treasure. Interesting. Another Tavern Brawler. Gut to Soul Zeal it. Whenever I attack, I make sacrifice another creature and artifact. If I do make it 4 1 Black Skeleton, Tavern and Attacking. Another Baby Lagasa. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! Black Market Connections. That pays for the pack right there. Oh! Yeah, baby! Let's go! Descent! Zelvor! It's an instant sorcery. Oh my gosh! Caves of Chaos Adventure. I am my blood pressure, y'all. Through the roof. Let's go through these. Chaos, when it enters the battlefield, I take the initiative. Whenever this card attacks, I was the top card of my library. If I've completed a dungeon, I can play that for free. Otherwise, I can still play it. Amazing. 
Sasha the Witch Queen, the full art. When I cast a spell I don't own, create a 3 3 black demon creature token. I can plus one to draw a card for each opponent, exile one target, insert a sorcery from their graveyard, and put a page counter on it. Next three, I can uh, cast a spell with a page counter on it uh, for free. And it can be my commander. Zelvor, uh, Grixis on a one, it's got a haste for a four, two, two and a tap. When I cast my next insert a sorcery spell that targets a single opponent or a single permanent in opponent controls. Uh, for each other opponent, I can just copy it. It's one of those cards. Descent into Avernus. I think we all know that card. I think we all know Black Market. And then the baby and the gut. Wow, dude. Wow. Huge W. Huge W. I can't believe that, dude. And we're pulling another treasure token. Look at that. Oh, I'm stoked, man. My stoke is unmatched right now. Against the enforcers. Oh, shit, my dumbass. Nefarious Imp. Oh, Lightning Bolt. We'll take those. Giant Ankeg. Nemesis Phoenix. It's a forest. Here we go. Fireball, it's an X. We all know Fireball spell costs one more to cast for each target beyond the first. Deals X damage divided evenly routed down among any number of targets. Viconia Drow Apostle. Master Chef as the background. Purple Flutist. Astral Dragon. When this enters the battlefield, it creates two tokens that are copies of target non-creature permanent. Because they're three, three dragons uh, and they have flying. That's a cool card. Will's Reversal. True target spell or ability with one or more target troll D20 and add the greatest power. Cool. Jan Jensen for uh, Mardu. Haste. It's got some artifact. Make a treasure. It's like a non-artifact. Great. There you go. Vexing Puzzle Box. Full art. Whoa. Whoa. What are your one or more dice? Put a number of charge counters on Vexing Puzzle Box. Equal to the result. Tap to add a man of one color. Roll a D20. Tap, remove 100 counters, charge counters from Vexing Puzzle Box. Search my library for an artifact, put it on the battlefield, then shuffle. What a weird card. What a silly, weird card, and I love it. Mirror of Life Trapping. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield, if it was cast, exile it, then return all of our permanents, exile the mirror, trapping to the battlefield under the owner's control. Interesting. Soldier token on the treasure. Interesting. I would call that a win. Vexing Puzzle Box is weird. These other cards are pretty cool. I'm stoked. I'm happy. Halfway through the six. Here we go. We're going to pull a dragon. We're going to pull a dragon. We're going to pull the red one. Watch it here. Live on air. I cannot explain to you. How happy I am to have pulled treasures in every single pack. Roving Harper. Heap Gate. Poison the Blade. Patriel Seal. Noble's Purse. Swamp. Here we go. Moss Diamond. This is the green diamond. And nearest Gloom Stalker. Whenever it attacks, return a land card from the grave of the battlefield. Interesting. I like that. Ganos Dragonheart. Whenever it attacks, you get plus X, plus X to land a turn where X is the greatest power amongst dragons I control and dragons in my graveyard. Raga Draga Gordus Boss. Now, I know, I know this card, we hear it a lot. Each creature I control, the mana ability gets plus two, plus two. Whenever a creature I control, the mana ability attacks, untap it. That's broken. If I cast a spell, if at least seven mana was cast it, untap target creature gets plus seven, plus seven to land a turn. That's cracked. Another Brain Stealer Dragon, not the dragon we're looking for. Ooh, that's just sexy. Full Art Baldur's Gate. Oh my god. <gasps> Another Miram. And Volo. Okay, let's read these. Okay. When there's a battle, this is the, the one that cares about creature types. When Volo enters the battle, you would create Volo's Journal, a legendary colorless artifact token with Hexproof. And whenever you cast a creature, spell note one of its creature types that hasn't been noted for this artifact. Two. Uh, two and a tap. For this guy, draw a creature card for each type noted uh, for a target permanent eye control names Volage Journal. Interesting. Bane, Lord of Dargus. Uh, not Azorius. Not Bant? Is that 
not banned. I don't remember. So my life total is less than or equal to half my starting level total. This guy has indestructible. Whenever a non-token creature I control dies, target opponent may have you draw a card. If they don't, you may put a creature card with lesser toughness on my hand on the battlefield. Whoa! Yeah, that seems good. That seems good. The big W here is Miram. Got a Miram for the commander slot. Got a Miram for the uh, the Ur Dragon man. Not that I have either of those decks, but I hope to have a Miram deck now. Everyone, oh man! Uh, if I ever lose a treasure token, then I am I just suck. Oceanus Dragon, Sword Coast Serpent, Navigation or Banishment, Gisteri Monk, Swamp. Here we go. M-O-N, Mystic Trickster. Begin my instant if I have the initiative, draw a card. Draw another card if I've completed a dungeon. Very cool. Low Sand, Dragon's Legacy. When I cast an Adventure Spell or a Dragon Spell, uh, this card deals equal damage equal uh, to that spell's mana value to any target that is not a commander. Veteran Soldier. When I was uh, commander creatures, I have. Whenever this creature attacks a player, if no opponent has more than one life, for each opponent, make a 1-1 one -one soldier that's tapped and attacking that player. I actually like that a lot. Another flutist, spectral showdown. Put a double strike counter on target creature, then go to each creature that has a double strike counter on it each way. Overload, font of magic. And certain sorcery spells cost one less for the each time I've cast my commander from. Wow. Uh, Lazelle. If I put one or more counters on a creature, planeswalker, I control or myself. Uh, put that many plus one of those counters on each permanent or player instead. Duke Old Air Raven Guard. Beginning combat, another second creature gains haste and myriad to end a turn. And Kindred Discovery. Not a bad card. Uh, when Kindred Discovery and ETBs choose a creature type, uh, whenever the a creature of that chosen type ETBs or attacks, draw a card. Good, good, good pulls here, people. Good pulls here. Last pack. Here we go. Can we pull the red ancient dragon? Uh, I've been pulling a treasure in every pack. I think that's a good sign. Pull a treasure in every pack. It's got to be a good sign. Sapperling. There we go. Beautiful. Myconoid spore tender. Murder. That's beautiful. Lost diamond. Rescuer. Chewinga? Apologies if I butchered that. Beckoning Will O Wisp. Island, here we go. Goggles of Night, one in a blue. Whenever attack creature deals combat damage to a player, scry one, then draw. The Rackus, the Butcher. Whenever uh, the Butcher attacks, double the power of each dragon I control till end of turn. Street Urchin, commanders, I have one Sucrus, another creature. This creature does one damage to each target. Glunch, we all know Glunch. Third one I've pulled. Rang line when it enters the battlefield, put a rope counter on target creature I control. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player may two if they do not. They put a rope counter on, on a teacher they control. Otherwise, exile Frank line on each creature without a rope counter on it. They remove all rope counters from all creatures. Interesting. Noble Heritage. Commander creatures you own have when this creature enters the battlefield. At the beginning of your upkeep, each player may put two plus one plus one counters on a creature they control. For each player he does. I gain protection from that player until the end of the next my next turn. Another Miram. Another Kindred. I am happy. I have pulled everything that I could have or wanted to have pulled. I will be building many a decks. I call this an absolute win. Let's go through the wins again, man. Alice Norn, Zajara, Kogan, Yadaro. And I'm just boom, boom, boom. All of these, baby. No dragons. That's okay. It's gonna do. It's gonna make do. It's gonna be good. We're gonna do good. Make some sick decks. What in the world, man? What pulls? Crazy, crazy. Thank you for being here. Thank you for enjoying this with me. Um, I will, after this, be uploading a deck building, a live deck building I did on Twitch. 
for uh, the commander. The commander is Commander Liara Porter. And I have an Ixal box opening coming up as well. I hope you check those out. They're on my channel. Uh, thank you for your time. If you enjoyed this, I would appreciate the like, comment, subscribe, that whole thing. Uh, you are loved, and go do good. Be well. Good night.